before we dive into the world of electric vehicles, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, hit that like button for uh, more exciting content and uh, dimensions. 4,961 millimeters by 1,862 millimeters by 1,551 millimeters, uh, 2,971 millimeter wheel days, and um, drivetrains available, 77 kilowatt hours with 546 horsepower, 86 kilowatt hours in the first section, the 340 horsepower, 560 newton meters, um, charging 175 kilowatt CCS, uh, 200 kilowatt hours, those 86 kilowatt hours, 10 to 80% in 26 to 28 minutes, um, 607 kilometers, 77 kilowatt hours, um, 698 kilometers, well, 588 kilometers, um, um, weight up to 2,339 kilograms. Uh, trunk EU605L, uh, no frunk. Uh, the Tour provides a greater amount of rear and cargo space compared to the pricier and larger. Uh, BMW i5 Touring, or a, uh, however, it's worth noting that both the Tour and ID7 have some common drawbacks, uh, such as an over-reliance on touch controls uh, and the absence of a front trunk, John Keep. Um, additionally, we yearn for the true one-pedal operation. Uh, despite being set at maximum energy recovery, uh, the ID7 Tour doesn't fully stop when you release the accelerator pedal. Uh, uh, the VW ID7 wagon is available in three models, Pro, Pro S, and GTX. Uh, most individuals should find everything they require in the, the standard Pro version itself. Uh, for an additional 5,000 euros, you can upgrade to the Pro S model that comes uh, equipped with a larger 86 kilowatt hour battery, um, providing approximately 12% more driving range. Um, the GTX is more of a luxury upgrade starting at almost 64,000 euros. Um, it's not that much quicker than the Pro and the all wheel drive comes with less range. Um, on a lighter note, why, um, why did the electric car go to therapy uh, because it was feeling a little drained. Um, with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, okay.